This is going to be a painful video to watch. I made a lot of mistakes here. Instead of trashing this video, I decided to post it showing all of the ugliness involved. I will talk about how to fix the mistakes later when I get to Anyhow, it. Anyhow, I'm getting the blue out. Now, this is Tamiya Clear Blue. It needs to be thinned down a little bit in this airbrush. Um, I'm getting an eyedropper out. I wasn't all the way prepared for this, but that's the way it is. Pulling the cap off the airbrush. I keep it capped. Here's the airbrush. Okay, I just pulled the cap off here. Pulling the other cap off. I cleaned this a little while ago, so it works really well now. When you're playing with Tamiya paints, what I would do is I'd thin them half and half. Now, the blue doesn't really need to be mixed. The clear paints really don't need to be mixed too much. So, I can just go straight to the dropper. I'm counting right there. I put 12 drops of this paint in. And I'm going to put 12 drops of thinner in. Now, I have these bottles I use for the thinner. They're labeled. Um, I got them off some website a long time ago. Okay. And, well, they work really well. Now, once you get your paint in there, and you can see the paints inside the airbrush cup, I'm going to stir that a little bit with the back of a spoon. And I'm going to test it on the spoon because, well, it works really good. you got to turn on the compressor, though. If you don't have air pressure, it won't work. Okay. So, spraying a little bit of this on there. And I probably have the paint way too thin. You can start seeing a little bit of a blue tint to it right there. Or, I didn't mix the paint in the airbrush well enough. Or, I have the air pressure way too high, and I think it's a combination of things. Let me try it straight. Okay? I got quite a few of you guys watching. That's funny. Okay, this is straight paint. And I might have the air pressure a little high. Because, well, I don't want to spray this on my parts without testing it. Especially since I haven't done this transparent paint in a while. I want to make sure it works. Okay? And it doesn't look good to me. I don't like the way this looks. So what I'm going to do, set aside the spoon because it's not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and mix this and see if that helps at all. That's a little mixer. And you can see the paint looks good on the mixer and on my hand. Okay? I keep a bunch of paper towels handy. And again, I've got the thinner in a bottle. Now one thing about this, lacquer thinner and alcohol will thin to me of paints. You don't really want things collapsing down on you. Lacquer thinner and alcohol will thin to me of paints. Both of them will. And if I can get it on the spoon like it was on my hand, it'll be perfect. Okay? clean that up a little bit more. Let's see what that does. I might have to get another spoon too. But yeah, that was it. I had to mix that paint. Been sitting on the shelf for far too long. Let me add a little bit of thinner to it. I'm going to use it to me a thinner again instead of lacquer thinner. I'm not really mixing that very well. I'm guesstimating. You probably shouldn't use the back of a spoon, but can everyone see the difference in mixing that paint made? Let's spray it on this spoon. Cool. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That. That's a lot better. Better coverage. Everything. That's what I was looking for. Right there. Okay? Now that it's painting the way I want, and some of you can see why, I did the test paint on the spoon. Let me get some of my parts off their tr sprues. This is one of the parts I'm painting right here. This is the underside. This is the top part of the part. And it really doesn't matter which side of this I'm going to paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint the top part here. 
And I'm almost willing to bet some of you know. Oh, look at how that paint is going on there. That's what I was afraid of. The good part, though, is it cleans off really easily. So if the paint doesn't cover correctly, I can correct that. It's just not what I wanted to see. Let's try the sensor array. How many? Of you, I wonder how many of you even know what I'm painting right now. It's speculating on here. That's weird, because usually the spoons paint just the same way the model does, because they're made out of the same material. And it's really strange if I can cover that spoon perfectly, but I can't cover this. Look at that. Well, I'm out of paint. So let me put some more paint in there and let's mix it up again and let's try it again. Okay. I got more parts to try and again, I can correct those mistakes. That's not something I'm overly concerned about. Okay, I'm being a little bit more careful about my paint ratios this time. Okay, it's supposed to be half paint, half thinner, and it's mixed. Let's go back to this bad spoon and try the stem of it and see if it's better. See, this is what I don't get. Look how it's spraying on the spoon. It's spraying perfectly fine on that spoon. Now, when I go back to my model parts, let's see how it spray paints there. This time I'm not having the problem. Yep, there goes the problem again. But it's not as severe as it was on the other one. That's interesting. The spoon works, the model parts do not. I might also just have to give them a couple of coats to get them to paint right. Well, it's probably be passable. Alright, I'm going to let this sit for a while. I'm not going to come back and get it right away. I'm going to see if I need to clean those parts off. I probably do. I can see paint is pooling in areas on them. Because look at this one now. Paint's pooling down at the bottom. It's getting on there too thick and too heavy is what the problem is. My air pressure is probably a little too high on the airbrush. Okay? This other one, this is the first one I painted. See how it's all collecting in one spot? Do you see it running? I had too much paint on there. It has been a long time since I sprayed with these clear paints and they are tricky. So I'm going to end up cleaning these parts off and starting over. Um, they're easy to clean with Tamiya paints. You just put them in some, and this one's doing a lot better, but it is the paint is pooling and it might actually be better I let the, this one with the paint flow downwards okay but again these clear paints are tricky to paint with thin coats are better I'm gonna go with a lower air pressure next time I go around and I'm gonna clean those two parts off with some alcohol and I'm gonna clean this mess up I hope you guys enjoyed